And because there's so little on Jordan Love, I feel like it's hard to predict what he can do. Um, a lot of what he can do is going to be ba- based off of what the Packers are as a team. And even going from last year, they were a run-heavy team with a solid offensive line. Not great, but solid. They should be better now that they're healthy at the beginning of the season. You know, we can make fun of Jordan Love all we want about training camp videos and all that stuff. I think he's quite comfortable in the system. And I think he's had an opportunity to be in Matt LaFleur's offense, and I think he can perform it. Um, Do you think Fields throws for over 200 yards? I'm not sure. But at the end of the day, I trust Justin Fields to do what he needs to do to drag the corpse of the Chicago Bears across the finish line. But what I know they're really good at is Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon are going to absolutely just run all day long. And that's, you know, that's where we're going to see the passing game feed off the running game. And so I think from the passing game, uh, Green Bay, you can expect, you know, 200 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. On the flip side, I think the Bears, my concern is a lot of third and long situations. And so unless you're banking on Justin Fields to bail you out on third and longs, which he did all the time last year, he was amazing at that. He bailed you out a lot. I just don't think it's something that's realistic to expect another year from or ask from him. It's going to be a very hard fought game. It's going to be a very, these two teams know each other. So I'm concerned about Chicago being in third and long situations and making Justin Fields either scramble or do a deep bomb. That gets risky where now you throw interceptions. You may throw a a key third down interception because you're forcing the ball to DJ Moore. You're forcing the ball to Chase Claypool. 